Hello everyone. So we are going to start with our new project. This is the project number three. If you haven't seen the project number one and two, please do watch that. And uh, this is the project number three. Okay. In this project, what actually we are going to do? So we have a business use case. So what actually happening is like we have a continuously data coming into a S3 location that is available into a Amazon Web Service in a AWS S3 location. What actually we want to do is like we want to move the data from a S3 location to the Azure Blob Storage through a data pipeline. So we are going to create a data pipeline, and that data pipeline will transform the data from a AWS S3 location to a Azure Blob Storage. Okay. So let me first open a, my AWS account. This is my AWS account. First, I am going to create a S3. Okay. So if you will uh, create a AWS account, this will look like this. You have to search S3. Once you will search S3, you have to click on this S3. In a S3, first we are going to create a bucket. Okay. So if you can see here, create bucket option is there. Just click on this create bucket. Once you will click create, a, click on this bucket name. We have to give the bucket name. Okay. I am giving as a testing bucket name as a test testing and rest of the thing i am going with the by default okay click on this create bucket actually this bucket name should be unique so let's give a, a random okay so there should not be any uppercase aws to azure one two three four okay and after that click on the create button so this is the this is the bucket which we have created. I am going to upload a file. Click on this add file. Go to the document. And I have uploaded this file. I am going to upload this file. So this is the data which we have available. What actually we are going to do? We are going to trans transfer this data into a Azure location. Let me show you what this data contains. So this data contains this file. So we have a username, salary, location, date and attendance. So what actually we are going to do? We are going to transform our data from a AWS S3 location to a Azure. Okay. Okay. So now let me open my Azure account. So this is my Azure account. First, what we are going to do? First, we will create a storage account. Click on this storage. Click on this create storage. Select the subscription and the resource group and give the storage name. Okay. Once you will give the storage, click on this next advance. And uh, this I am going with the by default option. Okay. Click on the create. It is going to validate and it now initialization deployment is in progress. Okay, so it will create a storage account into one two minutes. Okay, till then what we will do? We will go. We will create a data factory also. Click on this data factory. Click on this create data factory option. Here also subscription and resource group you have to select. You have to give the data factory name. Zero four zero five zero four zero five. Make sure it should be unique. I am not going to configure the git. So I am selecting that. Click on the next, next, next. Click on the review and create. And click on this create button. So it is going to be created one data factory also. So if you see in a notification window, Azure storage account is now created. Let me go to the resources. So this is the storage which we have created, blog storage 075. Click on this container. Okay, and we are going to create a one container name so that our data will be stored. AWS data. And giving container name as a AWS data, click on this create. Okay. So this is the storage which we have, this is the container we have created. As of now, there is no file here. Okay. Now our data factory is now also completed. Go to the resource group. Click on this data factory. If you can see here we have option like data factory studio. We have to click on this the data factory studio. Now we will create a data pipeline here. 
okay so as of now what we have done we have created a storage account and we have we have created one folder or container you can say that is a aws data okay as of now there is no data available there we have created a s3 in a s3 we have a data that is coming okay as of now we have only one data just for the testing purpose now what we are going to do we are going to transform that data from a s3 location to a blob storage through a through a data pipeline so for creating a data pipeline we should have a data factory so that's why we have created a data factory once created a data factory we are opening a data factory studio and in this data factory studio we are going to create a data pipeline so that is the business use case so suppose uh, if you had to do any kind of the migration from the aws to azure so how actually you can do this is the one of the process okay so that is how actually it works so we will just wait it to be open once it will open we will create a data pipeline so our data pipeline will look like we will be having a source as a aws s3 and our target will be the storage account okay so our uh, this will be our source aws s3 will be our source and uh, azure blob storage will be our uh, sync okay and in azure blob storage we uh, we have created a aws uh, folder name okay yeah let's see whether it's open or not still it is opening we just have to wait for uh, one minute okay uh, let's see what is our blob storage folder name go to the storage go to the container in a container we have a aws data so the name is aws data okay let's see data factory studio is still opening we have to wait for one minute i think it will be completed it will about to complete usually it doesn't take that this much time but i think this is first time so that's it's taking time we just have to wait okay and uh, let me show you my aws location file so this is the file and this is the aws location so we have a aws to azure this location okay and this is the file okay so we if you will see this is the s3 uri and this is the object url is given okay let me see whether data factory studio is open or not it is still taking time let's do one thing go to the data factory click again open as your data factory now let's wait i think it will open so the data factory is now open click on this author once you will click on this author button okay the pipeline is coming click on this three dot click on this new data pipeline what we are going to do we are going to move the data so we are using a copy data activity okay we are aws to azure we can say okay now now click here go to the sources now we have to create a data set so our so that and we also have to create a link service so that we can link where actually our file is okay click on this new what is our source source is s3 so we have to search for the s3 let's see s3 is there or not amazon s3 okay click on the continue the file is a uh, delimited text okay continue and now we have to create a we have to create a link service click here click on the new okay access id key authentication so now it is asking for the access key id and the secret access key for the access, uh, for the s3 location okay so that actually we have to provide and we have also have to provide the service url let's go to the s3 location to, to connect to the s3 we should have a uh, access key and access key id for the s3 location right so to get that first we have to click on this iam okay once you will click on this iam we have to go to the user click on this user click on the add user I am giving a username as uh, my name Manish. Uh, I am 
ongoing access key that is programmatic next permission uh, what what are the permission you want to pay um, as of now i am selecting an administrator access so that it will have all the access click on the next next create user so this is the access key id and this is the password okay click on that and make sure you will save it otherwise you will lose okay so now go to the uh, over the azure account here whenever you will create a link service right it will ask for the access key id and uh, also for the password okay so just select that access key okay and click on the test connection you can see connection is now successful click on this create now you have to select the path where actually the file is so you can see we can see our uh, s3 location so our file is in aws to azure this particular and we, we have selected the file click on this okay so now our source is now ready just click on the sync sync is our blob storage so click on the azure blob storage click on the continue we want to save as a txt only click on the continue we are going to create a new uh, link service and this is for the blob storage so our storage account is blob storage that we have given click on this create and we are actually you want to see that location we have to give so we want we have only one container which we have created aws data that actually has selected now our pipeline is now ready we have to click on the publish all button just publish it and we have to click on the add trigger okay as of now it is publishing we have to wait you can see publishing completed click on this add trigger and the trigger now once you will do that the pipeline will run and it will fetch the data from your s3 location to a your blob storage if you want to monitor the pipeline you have to go into this you have to see your pipeline is in progress so you have to wait for that and after that it will copy your data from your s3 location to a storage account you can see it is now succeed now our data should be available into a uh, storage account to see that you have to first go into the storage account blob storage go to the container go to the aws data now you can see we have the same data available into a storage account so that is how actually this works okay so if you want to connect if you want to transform our data from s3 location to storage that's how you can do it